back. Today we're going to be talking all about how to create a healthy relationship with productivity. Now this is something that I'm always actively working on and I definitely have not figured it out or mastered it, so I definitely appreciate all of the comments, advice, and conversations we can have in the comments. If you watch my videos, you probably are a very ambitious person, you like to set goals, you like to have productive routines, and all of these are great things. Being productive is a good thing. It allows you to accomplish goals and get healthier and learn more. But way too often, we attach our productivity, accomplishments, and output to our self-worth, meaning that we only feel good about ourselves when we've accomplished things, or we only feel good about ourselves if we've worked a certain amount of hours that day. We can easily feel stuck between wanting to be productive, but feeling like we should be resting, or wanting to rest, but feeling like we should be productive. And this just puts our mind at a standstill where neither side is going to win, and thus nothing gets done. You neither rest nor work. And that's why for me, the most important thing that I can do to be productive is to have a good mindset. I could give you tips all day about how to get more done in your day efficiently using time blocking and timers and planners. But if you have a negative mindset around productivity and the work you're doing or the goals you have, then it's all gonna feel really hard and very miserable. They don't really wanna hear the truth no more. Think they scared how I make them feel. And you can say anything you want about me, I ain't worried that don't make it real. They don't really want to hear the real no more, think they scared how I make them act. And you can say anything you want about me, I ain't tripping that don't make it fat. The mindset starts with asking yourself the question, why you want to be productive. Whenever I ask myself this question, I often find myself in the same dilemma. I have goals and things that I want to accomplish, work that I'm really excited about that I find value in, but then on the other hand, I also don't want to work my life away and feel like a machine that is only just existing to produce things and get to the next level. This mental dilemma often stems from too much social media. I'll see one person promoting hard work and I'll feel like I'm not doing enough and I'll feel like I need to be doing more. But then a few scrolls later, I'll see someone promoting slow living and then I'll feel like I'm doing way too much and I should be slowing down. And it goes back and forth every time I scroll upon a new lifestyle or a new routine that someone's promoting and I'm constantly feeling like my routine that I'm doing isn't good enough. And this is when you have to put away your phone and ask yourself what you think. finished my workout and I'm drinking my protein smoothie and I love working out in the mornings because I feel like it primes my mind for just a good day. I feel like I get out all of that anxious energy. I'm, I'm naturally a fairly anxious person so when I start my day off with a workout I find that I have I'm much more calm throughout the day and I just handle anything that comes at me throughout the day so much better when I just take time for myself in the morning. These routines make me feel really good, even when I don't really wanna do them. Like for example, this morning during my workout, I was feeling a little bit tired and I just didn't really wanna do it, but I made the decision that, you know, I know I'm gonna feel so much better if I just, just start and just do you don't have to do a whole hour. I just did 30 minutes and I feel so much better and I just feel way more awake and I'm so happy I did it and I knew I would be. Don't always look at what other people are doing. That's their life and that is what makes them happy, whether it's getting up at 5 a.m. or staying up till 5 a.m. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what other people do. It just matters what feels good to you, truly. So I know it's cliche, but that's truly all that matters. I mean, you're in your own body, so you know what is gonna work for you. And if you don't, just try different things out. Keep an open mind with your routines and always be willing to try new things and find new ways to you know, make yourself feel good. Creating a healthy, productive routine that works for me really comes down to one thing, and that's self-awareness. How I do this is I like to ask myself what would feel good right now or what would feel good to do today. Sometimes I know in my gut that while I'm not super motivated to work, 
checking off those tasks that have been piling up would feel amazing. Other days, I know that while I may have a lot of work that I could do, doing absolutely nothing would feel so nice and relaxing and exactly what my body needs. But usually I always end up somewhere in the middle. Discipline for me is part of having a balanced life. I personally thrive off of having discipline, routines, and structure in my life. I love working towards goals, and I genuinely thrive in that environment. But I need that just as much as I need rest, self-care, nights out with friends, traveling to new places, and taking vacations. I genuinely need both in my life, and I've recognized that and try my best to create that balance. Something I like to do every morning or the night before, whenever I am, you know, winding down for the day is plan my day. And obviously that's like what my whole business is, is the planners that I design. But I view planning as more of a way to make sure I'm getting in all of the different buckets of my life that I like to fill up every day. Like I like to work out, I like to work on my business and shoot content. I like to design new products, edit, you know, things like that. But I also like to take time for myself, do skincare, cooking, walking my dogs, spending time with my husband and dogs, watching TV and movies. So I like to make sure I'm hitting all of those buckets and using my planner really helps me to make sure I'm staying balanced and making sure that I'm time blocking my time. So whenever I'm working, I'm getting the things that I need to get done done. So I have time later to relax and chill and have that balance. It's not about getting the most done that you can out of your day. It's just about doing things efficiently so that you can do all of the things that you wanna do. So I'm gonna plan my day. I'm running a little bit behind today because I'm not used to filming and it's very time consuming to set up the camera. And I just had a finance meeting and my brain hurts, but I'm going to plan my day nonetheless. If I'm actively avoiding doing something productive and procrastinating, it's usually for one of these three reasons. One, it's that I'm tired and I need rest, which I always allow myself to do because that is always the most important thing. Number two, it's that I'm scared of failing at the task that I need to do, and therefore I'm avoiding doing it because I don't wanna fail at it. That was like editing this video. I've had this footage for so long, and every time I sat down to edit it, I got self-conscious about the message that I was scripting and was getting over analytical about all of the different shots that I got, and I just kept procrastinating making the video. But really, it was just that I was scared of editing a bad video. But once I could see that I was doing that, I was able to push past the fear and just edit a video and get it out regardless of the result. And the third reason is that I just genuinely don't wanna do it like taxes. And that is where sheer willpower needs to come in, which as much as we hate it, we have to use that muscle sometimes. Being quote unquote productive really just comes down to being present. Be where you are in each moment. If you're working, you're working. If you're resting, you're resting. I know that this can be so hard since we have so many distractions and sometimes the biggest distraction is just our thoughts. And we're constantly thinking about how we need to be more productive or less productive. And we're constantly trying to audit our behavior rather than just being. We too often forget that we can have both. We can work hard and be productive and also go hard on self-care. We can work towards something while being grateful for what we have. We can aspire to achieve goals while also appreciating where we're at. And we can work on different parts of ourselves while still knowing that we are enough as we are right now. I feel like it's the perfect way to close out this video by just saying, look, live your life. <laughs> I've had too much cider. Let me see what I had planned to say at the end of this video so I can actually give you guys some real advice. Let's just take the pressure off. If you want to be productive, be productive. All right, we have goals. 
all right? Sometimes in life, some people do, all right? I do, and I like to work towards them every day, and I like to get things done, but I also like to live my life and go chill, and both things are living my life, right? Being productive is living my life, eating pizza is living my life, okay? You don't, you can have both. You don't have to pick one or the other. It's never gonna be perfect. We're never gonna have it all figured out. There's always gonna be something else. So just show yourself some compassion, you know, live your life and it's all gonna work out, okay? Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.